Good evening. Good evening, Ehinome. Thank you, my brother. Thanks for joining us tonight. Good evening, Rosaline Osage, Emmanuel. You are welcome this evening. Afure Ehinome. Afure Abu. Happy Osas. Good evening. Good evening to you. Welcome to this program. Thanks for joining us. Monica Jacob, I can see you. Thank you for joining us. Irene Ogbewi. Hmm. Irene, thank you for joining us. Lovely. Ede, good evening to you. Tega Aredo, evening to you, bros. Bros, I hail you too. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Cherish Ella, I can see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, thanks. Amo Ogi Josh. Good evening, my brother. Thanks for joining us. I can see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Cherish Ella, they wave me. I wave you too. I, I wave you. Arthur uh, Austin, I can see you. Rosalind Osage. Viviane Sibo. Edo Summer, I can see you. Cherish, thank you very much. I appreciate. Thanks for joining. Princess CY, I can see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. We have a very, very salient topic to discuss. William E. William, good evening to you, sir. Mavis Maxwell, I can see you. Good evening to you, Princess CY. Brown De Niro. Thank you for joining us, Mom Stone. Hmm. Good evening, sis. Marvin Smith, you know. Thank you, thank you. Marvin Smith, thank you. God, Godfrey or Morodion. Are you two not chairman? Uh? Are you up, uh, Godfrey? You two not chairman? I be a two. Thank you, as you say, you deal with us. You deal. We may we discuss uh, this evening, cause this one want too much of our people. I don't know why we don't like. Our own culture, our own things. Why would they like boropos? Why would they like to copy? Why would they like? So I want us to put heads together this evening and discuss. I want us to know, find out the reason. Waiting where they make our people, they always like uh, other things. Uh, if they look my hand, Godfrey or Mora, you know, may I they look your two hands so. I they look your hand, I they look your pocket, I they look everything. Dollar Dixie, I greet you to my brother. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, I want you to begin to invite right now. Just press the invite button and, and the share button and begin to click on your friends to come and be part of this evening discussion. It is very, very important that we talk about this. Ah. Uh, you like your culture, Princess CY. We will find out very soon whether you like your culture. Uh, Sarabo Michael Duare, me at you they wave me, me I see they wave or I wave you too. We know to read too little well. You you wave, I wave. I wave with two hands to you. Antonia Ogbewe. Or Ogbewe. Is it Ogbewe or Ogbewe? I don't know. Anyway, Ogbewe, Ogbewe, yeah, Ogbewe. So, thank you. My brother, Victor Echa Todd, my man from the palace, I greet you, sir. Thanks for joining us. Oh, <laughs> God for more. They say, I love my culture, though I can't really speak it well. So, that is the number one. We are discussing you. In short, now your mother will want to talk today. Just sit down, make you listen. We just carry your matter. We want to hear you apart. How can you not speak the language? So now, now the number one assignment we are giving you is that Godfrey. That's the number one assignment we are giving you. Try and learn your language. Kevin Igbinova. No, you are not dead. You are alive. <laughs> you are just alive, but learn it. Yeah, because if you die, if you die, you're not going to learn the language. So go learn a Godfrey or more audio. Go and learn the language. 
Ok, à tout ça, je vous remercie. Koyo, vie coréen. Wako, yo, wabo, ya. Amoro, yo, you shifting the pots to your parents. Now you are joining, if you, if you refuse to learn now, which means you are joining your parents to share the fault. So prove them wrong. Try, learn wherever you are. Okay. Linda Cassidy, our history professor. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. As you say, you will learn now no more. Dear. You will learn, you will learn, you will learn. It is very, very important. Please keep on sharing, keep on sharing, keep on inviting. It is important that we discuss this topic. I just want to, just want us to discuss this as as a sandwich to make to sandwich it between uh, what we are, uh, the one we have been discussing about the Ogiso and the Oba dynasty, and which will continue next week, and. Um, Next week we'll, we'll, we'll continue the uh, the teachings on the Oba dynasty, but today I just want us because the last the last teachings we had so many things came up that led me to say okay let us discuss this in total. So David Demo there, what are you saying? You said, uh, uh, let me see what you are saying. So, Okay, David Demudia, you love your culture, you can't speak the language. Okay, so we, we don't plenty now, we don't confess much more. Some of you start confessing, you know, if you know you are a Bini, a Do, a San, a Femme, Ora, you don't speak the language, start confessing right now. Confess, confess. Speaking it fluently is difficult, but I'll try and learn when it's time. Oh, oh. <laughs> You'll try and learn when the time comes. Oh, boy. When the time comes, if you can't learn now, you may never be able to learn it. I tell you that. You know, Benin language is not difficult, especially for we Benins. It's not difficult. Yeah, some people may say it's difficult, but it's just practice. You know, the, the reason why so many people don't speak, probably because they miss the elementary lessons from parents, and people begin to laugh at them when they speak the language. Because of that, some will just stop completely. Some will just stop speaking the language completely. Destiny Clark, where have you been, bro? Where have you been, bro? <laughs> Destiny Clark, welcome to class. Uh, it's like I see you once in a while. Okay, now it is not enough to blame your parents. Seriously, it's not enough to say my parents is the cause. No one on the walk home, you have to do. Your parents don't, they don't uh, make some mistake, yeah, but you have to prove to them that you. Are equally, you are equal to the tax. Okay. Wow. Destiny, you are not a man. You are a woman. Okay. Now I know. All this while you've been following me, I have always taught you to be a man. Okay, my beloved sister. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for joining us, Destiny. All right. Um... Okay, let, let us begin this evening like this. First of all, we do not, we are just talking about language because some of us have been truthful enough to tell us that they don't speak the language. But, but the truth of the matter is we are not really dwelling on only language. Culture is an embodiment of so many so many other things. It's not just about language. Hey, Corinne. <laughs> Corinne, long time no see. Okay, now this topic, carry you come, Abby. All right, so you know I hear about our history again. I've not been seeing you. Oh, oh, Eric, okay. Mm. Thank you, my brother from Upper Sakomba. That's good, Destiny. Now, 
we we because some people just interjected that they don't speak the language well even though they love their culture and that's why we're talking about language now uh, what we really want to discuss go way beyond a uh, language because culture go ways beyond language culture is more than just language all right there are many things that makes culture but my own personal observation is that good evening rsa my sister god bless you the 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 the, the, uh, the my own personal observation is that we the Benis kind of like foreign cultures, alien cultures more than we like our own. Our alien cultures, alien tradition, alien culture, alien traditions. We kind of see that they like it more than our own. And we don't know why. This is the reason we want to identify. Because please, if you if you have the means to call in, you can call in and talk to us as well. Because let us identify where this thing sprang from. Where did it spring from? How come our people love things of other people more than they love things of ourselves? It's not only language. There are many, many things we are going to discuss. But the, the, the funniest thing is this. Benin has the richest culture in the whole of Nigeria. We have the richest culture in the whole of Nigeria. Whether it is in the east, in the north, in the west or south, Benin culture is the richest. So how come we, we, we trash the richest culture and go after cultures that are not that, that they that are formulated most of the culture we are copying today are very very recent and they even tr they are trying to formulate them they are trying to to just create a culture especially if you watch the Igbos the Igbos are almost like a people without culture but you see from nowhere these people have been able to carve out culture for themselves. They have been able to carve out culture. You now see that they take from here, they take from here, they take from here, and they put it together and they practice it. And what is culture? A culture is something a group of people practice repeatedly for a long time and become part of them. All right? When you practice something for a very long time and it becomes part of you, it becomes cultural. It becomes cultural. So there's, though there's a little demarcation between culture and tradition, so tradition actually has to do with reputation of ideas and, 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 and things too. But, but culture uh, is kind of broader, or culture has to do mostly with uh, social, social uh, events, social activities. That is culture. So we, number one, we have the oldest culture in Nigeria. Our culture, as far as history can say, dated back to 70 BC, 70 years before Christ. That is how back our culture has been traced. I know it goes beyond that. I'm just telling you what historians have been able to trace. The culture, the culture of the Edo people that the historians have been able to trace. They've been able to trace it before Christ. And this culture is so old, so rich. And um, a lot of people want to learn our culture. But the problem is, why is it that we, the owner of this culture, are not fond of this culture? Multi Cross, my son, good evening, how are you? So why are we not fond of our culture? Why? So where is where does it where did the problem start? Where, how how did it start? And what should we do about them? Uh, what should we do about this? Now, if you look at, let me take uh, music for example. Music, we have music, and music is a way to identify a people. Okay. Music is a way to identify a people. How fond are we of our music as an as Edo people, as Bini people? How fond are we of our music? 
So we, you have social music, you have cultural music, okay? So in, in social events, when you do your social events, how much of your music do you play? All right, how much of your music do you play? Especially when you are, you are not um, living in your immediate environment, in your immediate, like you don't live in Edo State, you don't live in Benin City, for example, you are outside your immediate domain. Probably you live in Lagos, Wari, Porakot, Abuja, Kanu, you live abroad, live outside Nigeria. So, how much of your music do you play when you have social events? For example, we live abroad. Most of the time, you celebrate your, your birthday. You host an event and a DJ is playing. Do you have control over the music to be played? Do you tell your DJ, DJ, make sure you play music of that from my place? Do you do that? Or do you just give the DJ a free hand to begin to play? And when you give the DJ a free hand to begin to play, the DJ will play to his own taste. If he wants to do you good, he will play some David Doe, some Peace Square, and then he goes to Bob Marley, then he goes to Lucky Dube. Some have been actually to a party, with a Nigerian party, where they play Dolly Parton. They play Dolly Parton. They play Barry White. You know, so this is this is part of the problem that we are talking about. So how do you, how do we solve this? How do we how do we come to a place where we have to control the event and tell you, DJ, I am a Bini person. If you are coming to my party, make sure you, know, you make sure you get this music, this music, this music. You know, you you give the DJ a list of Edo music. If, look, thank God today, Edo people, we are not left out when it comes to to pop culture. No, we have Edo pop, we have Edo gospel, we have Edo reggae, we have it all. So if it, I'm talking about social music right now. No, I, I don't want to start from there to, to capture our attention because sometimes we think it's, it doesn't, it, 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 um, it's not, um, we think uh, it, uh, it doesn't matter. We think it doesn't matter. But I bet it matters because in, if you go to a Ghanaian party, if you go to a Ghanaian party, 90% of the music they will play will be sung in Chui language. In Chui. I'm talking about social gathering and social event. Those there are 90% of the music they play will be in Chui. Now, we, we if you don't if you if you don't uh now nobody need to tell you that this party is a Ghanaian party. Straight up. If you go there, if you don't know the participant, I mean the celebrant, and you go there, nobody's going to tell you this is a Ghanaian party. You will know through the music. If it is a Yoruba party, you will know through the music. A Yoruba person will be playing a Yoruba music. There is no two ways about that. So if you go to an Igbo music, the same thing. If you go to a, I mean, if you go to an Igbo Igbo uh, 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 party, the same thing. If you go to Yoruba party, Hausa party, the same thing. But when it comes to Edo party, you cannot tell if the person doing the party is Edo. Never, you can't tell. First of all, you begin to hear English hip hop, which is okay. No, no, it's a social music. But from there, you enter some Yoruba. From there, you hear you hear. You hear Igbo before you hear. We we don't we don't control. We don't control. We we don't we don't promote our culture. So, my people, if you have having a, a social event, make sure. I'm not saying you shouldn't play any of that music. You know, uh, you, you, there there are a lot of danceable music you could play to spice up the party. But make sure that your identity is established. Make sure that your Edo identity is established. 
wherever you come from, from a do state, whether you are Esa, whether you are Afema, whether you are Ora, whether you are a do Bini, make sure that your identity is established in any social event. Let it be a religious gathering. Let your identity be established. That is one of the way to promote your culture. Because I, I, can't, I can't be playing a Yoruba music in my event and to the detriment of a music from my place. And we, to God be the glory, we have great Edo songs that are coming up with good, good social music, danceable music. If you, I just posted a, 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 a music on my wall today, a new, a new uh, album by Manfesto. This good guy is very good, and he has released a new album. This is danceable music. If you go to my wall, you see Manfesto latest music. If you see Spice Vision, you see uh, 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 the, uh, this Akaba son has just released one album as well. Uh, what's his name again? This um, Influence. Is it Influence? Influence Akaba just released another album. I'm talking about danceable music. Danceable Edo music. Okay, the, the Edo, uh, uh, this Edo, uh, Edo uh, legend songs. Uh, you, you saw that, you saw how nice that music was. That is the, in short, that was the best music, Edo music I've ever seen. I've seen, um, I've seen uh, all the adult legends, their children came up. Uh, Osai Mori's son, uh, Oriri, Influence Akaba, Ide um, uh, all, all those old, old. They came to bring back the memories of their father. And they did a nice music, very danceable music. You know, so this is what we should, we should encourage them. Because every time you play their music, you popularize them. Every time you play their music, you popularize them. And when you popularize them, they, they have large patronage. And when they have large patronage, they have more income. With more income, they can produce more music. But the problem is when you don't patronize, when you, then you don't, you don't popularize them. If you don't popularize them, they get little sales. And with little sales, they get little income. Sometimes they don't have enough money to produce another music. That is why you see most of the time, they are fading out from the, from the scene. They are fading out from the scene. Okay? We don't... Okay, this boy, there was one guy that was called Sleazy E. Sleazy E is a rapper. He was rapping with a do language in most of this. Uh, he was like a, a guest. Uh, 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 they used to feature him. Most of these uh, Nigerian musicians used to feature Sleazy E. Uh, they call him popularly a do boy. From nowhere, the boy ceased. I have not heard from Sleazy. I have not heard. Uh, I, I, I was thinking probably he, we could promote some, somebody like that to bring out something good for the people. But we are not hearing from him anymore. They are not even featuring him anymore. You know, it's so unfortunate. Like, apart from some of the musicians have problems themselves. Okay? Some of the musicians are, are problems themselves. I'm going to tell you this. There is a musician that some of you will never ever know he's a Bin Edo boy. He's a Benin person. And he, he was successful and he didn't promote. And his name is Jini. I don't know if you if you heard of uh, of a musician called Jini. The musician called Jini, that guy that sang it, is in um what is it is it known? He used to sing in Yoruba, I mean, some song with Yoruba flavor. But it's, so, Jini is an Edo boy. His real name is Osayame. Yeah? So, if Jini, who is an Edo boy, he did not identify with his culture in his music. He stays in Lagos, plays purely English, and make no reference to... to so, I, I don't know. Sometimes it is not really... All our problems, sometimes the stars themselves are problems. The stars themselves are his son ego exactly. If you hear me see ego, you go tell him I don't go. Ego. Da, 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 da. That is Genie. So this guy is an Edo boy. But if he, he 
I, I don't know whether it is the politics in the game that make him to sing. Do you know he can see instead of singing ego, he could just put a Benin name as ego. If ego can he can go for ego. If you hear me, see he the, the rest go the same way. When you hear a key, you know it's an a Or oh, if if you if Adesu can go, Ito can go, for the same for the same ego. But ego is a, is an evil word, and it's an evil name. So sometimes it is also their fault. But and definitely he is an Edoson. So we are talking about where we have faults now. All right. So we. We when we talk about social events, when you have social events, social parties, make sure that your tribe is represented, your your culture is represented. Let your your have your say. Let have a dominant say. That is what we are saying, so that we could encourage our culture. We could encourage our culture. We could sell our culture. All right. Now. If, 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 apart from the social music, there are cultural music. There are cultural music. You know, I, I like what is actually happening right now in Benin because uh, a lot of people, when they have events, they will have. Sometimes they will now invite. They will in, uh, is it invite. They will now invite or pay to for cultural uh, dancers to perform alongside the musicians, which is actually good. You know, which is actually good. It's just that most of the cultural dance I see, it's not upgraded. You know, most of the cultural dance I see is still by the by the aged, by the aged, the old people who just dance, uh, just dance around the Aukuse and all that. And I feel because back in the days, I actually saw when I was in the secondary school. My school has a cultural group, and the cultural group of my school, they, they actually had um, a choreographer. You know, they actually had a choreographer, and then back then they, they used to be interstate cultural competition. They used to have interstate cultural dance com competition. So, my school used to have this. Um, I'm talking about my secondary school now, Ninja College, Benin City. They used to have this um, uh, choreographer who teaches them how to choreograph. And it teaches them different styles. They were infused into the dance. The, I'm talking about cultural dance, and you really love it because they were more. They were girls, and they, they were more stylistic in their in their uh, dance, in their styles of dance, and you will love it. So we should we should also encourage this. We should encourage this. I'm I'm not just talking about us now. I'm talking about the institutions. We have Ministry of Culture or on, on tourism or whatever. We have uh, the, uh, we have the Bini Traditional Council. We have the Oba Palace. We have various Enogies. So there are things. You see, sometimes this some of these some of the Enogies. I don't know what they are doing. I don't know. There should be things like this. There should be an inter, inter, all the enogi in, in, in the kingdom. Why can't they organize cultural activities as a competition to bring people together, to create awareness? Things like this could be done. Things like this could be done. Okay? So that is what, what I'm saying. Now, like back, you know, in the back in the days, there were um, there are things like poetry. Do you know that Bini has poetry and rhymes? Bini has rhymes and poetry. Ehara, I think it's called Ehara in Bini. Rhymes and poetry. You, you we could do that. We could encourage that. The, the the traditional institution can encourage that. Schools can encourage them. Uh, schools in Edo State. They, they, they should be inter-school cultural competition the way it used to be. None of them is existing anymore. You know? Yes, it's good to do quiz competition, debate competition, football what, and competition and all that. But it's also good if we could have cultural competition among schools. Why not? It was happening back then. Why not? Why not? So... 
and and Ekara rhymes and all that. So what what about culture? Do you know that cultural dance is going extinct in Edo State? Extinct, extinct. Cultural dance. They, they, some of them that used to be there. If I ask you now, some of you don't know what is Ekasa. Some of you don't know what is Ekasa. You don't know what is Ekaba. Some don't know what is called ka, uh, Kareta. I, I don't, some of you don't know what Kareta is. Some of you don't know what Ekaba is. Some of you don't know what Ekasa is. Don't, some of you don't even know what Alubogi is. Some of you don't even know what Agada is. Agada. Some don't even know Agada. Because some, some don't even know what uh, 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 what they call for the for the boys they use this ekbo uh, uh, uloga they call it uloga back in the days uloga there is when we were growing up in 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 Benin young boys especially when it's approaching Christmas probably they want to they want to go okay destiny you know agada ekbo uloga you know. When when it's approaching Christmas and young boys want to look for money for Christmas clothes, they they, they have this they have this um, they have this mask, one funny mask. They they, they carve they will carve it. They will wear it. They, there is a way they play the drum and the and the ekbo will be dancing. The ekbo is like it's like spunk. So the the ekbo will be dancing now, and people will be throwing money. And the the, the the more stylistic ekbo was the uloga. It's another style. The uloga style we have it has a, a another type of mask with a beak, like the beak of a bird, very long. Then we we'll put some nets in, and it wear this uh, isa on the waist. There is a way they they dance. I'm talking for the men now. That one is completely wiped out. You don't see it anywhere. Not even in the villages, you don't see it anywhere at all. Even in the villages, you don't see that. I think, if, 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 from the 80s, in, in, if, the last time I saw things like that was in the 80s. From the 90s, late, early, I mean, early 80s. You know? Early 80s. So, now, those things are no longer there. Are no long, they are no longer there. Like, the only way you can see a cabana is some villages. In some villages in... Um, in um, in the Yokoryon, in the interior of Yokoryon, there are some villages that have a kaba as a festival, not as a dance per se. It's as a festival, you know. So that is what they have now. But a a, a kasa gone, a kaba gone, kareta gone. Kareta is one. There was a kareta is like is a is an a kind of an acrobatic dance. Where, uh, like, like the, the the kind of figures you see in cycles, where people will stand on top of poles and be walking with long poles. That that is what the kareta used to do. They will be walking in long poles, dancing along the street with a lot of troop. This is what you know. The, the, one of the the one of the most popular kareta uh, dance in Benin those days used to be called ifem and Ogbotan. If you're in a bottom dance troupe, they, if you if you go through Agadagudu and Jam uh, Second West, there is one story beauty by the corner there. That is where they were. If you're in a bottom, they were. That was where they they were. Those days, you see a lot of kareta on the streets. It was like a festival in Benin. A lot of people with long long poles, walking on long poles and dancing on long poles, running, pursuing people. It used to be fun, but those things are gone. Those things are gone. All right, those things are gone. Now, now, uh, if you go uh, Alibogie and uh, Agada, Agada used to be dances played by the girls, the maidens. The young maidens used to play Agada. The the older maidens used to play Alibogie. I mean, they used to dance Alibogie because Alibogie was more of a uh, for for girls who were ready for for a wardo. so girls ladies who were girls who were ready who were mature enough to get married that that these were the class 
of guests that were playing uh, Ali Boogie then because their, their style was more of a uh, shake waist, shake body, shake waist. That that their style back then. Then the, the younger girls of about 10, 12, 13, 14, we have the one eight from even from eight years, we're playing uh, this Agada. But today, if you are Gada, you say, Lou, yeah, yeah, we have a girl kind daily. No, they will be dancing. Pioro, 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 Pioro. No, there's a way they dance it. They will go from, they will go back, they will go from, they will go back, they will go from, they will go back. It, it used to be fun. It was part of our culture. We don't like to preserve things. People are making money outside Nigeria with their culture, and we are killing our own. We are killing our own. The, only, the things we have, we don't know how to preserve it. We don't know how to uh, commercialize it. You see, that is one big problem we are having. We, we are having a very serious problem. Now, if I tell you, uh, I, 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 studied, I studied multimedia in Finland, in Lapland University in a city called Rovaniemi in Finland. And I studied there. And do you know, Rovaniemi is in the Arctic Cycle, in the North Pole. The only thing they have there is ice. Okay? The only thing they have in Rovaniemi is ice, not in earth, just ice. Ice and pine trees. These are pine trees we call Christmas tree. So the pine trees they use, the cut they use to, to make papers and wood. Then nothing else that brings money. Do you know what they do? They, because they have longer winter and shorter summer, in the winter, they, 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 they now do a very, you know, because when the snow falls, the snow can fall and rise and, and freeze for months. The snow can just fall and freeze for like, for like four months without melting. So all those high uh, um, frozen snow, they will now dig cavities into them. Inside one of, if you go to my wall, some, to some of my early pictures, you will see some of these pictures I'm saying. Inside this ice, you enter inside the ice, you have a hotel inside, you have a chapel inside, you have a, a, um, uh, uh, a bar inside, inside snow. I mean, eyes, not snow, eyes, inside eyes. They carve it, these rooms you can lodge, they'll give you um, reindeer skin to cover. You, you, they, there's a restaurant, there's a bar, there's a church. People even come from America, from all over Europe, to come and wed inside the eyes. They call it eyes castle. What am, I, what am I saying is, these are people who have nothing. They were, the only thing that they have that other people will be complaining snow one kilos ice one kilos cold one kilos they converted it into a venture to make money and it's true they converted it into a venture to make money this is a country in western europe uh, in the scandinavia they have nothing just cold and ice imagine somebody selling ice People will buy tickets, fly all the way from America to Helsinki, and from Helsinki to Rovaniemi, it's like it's like like a whole day journey, like 13 hours by train. People will go there and lodge in the ice and sleep in the ice and do wedding in the ice. Then they will visit Father Christmas because that is the original home of Father Christmas. That is the only another thing they have there. And reindeer and all that. So we, whereas we have something to make money, we lavish it. We neglect them. We 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 forget them. We don't develop nothing. Eh? Even the oil, the oil money that we say Nigeria has, you know, they even reach our hand. If you want count oil nation and oil states in Nigeria, if you see the position we've been at those states today, back back back, uh, River State have more oil than us. Uh, Delta have more than us. Cross River has more, more, more than us. In short, we, we, we're not sixth or seventh. 
So even the 13% derivation does not do nothing. And yet we have a lot of things to encourage tourism, to encourage uh, ourselves. We don't do. We let them slide. And we, and we don't know what to do about it. We have many dance. Even in in, in Esa land, we have Igba Bonanimi. And thank God, Igba Bonanimi, the Esa have been able to preserve that. But I also know that the culture is dying. It's not the way it used to be. But to a large extent, they have been able to preserve Igba Bonanimi. And it's good because it's so acrobatic. Wherever they are, that is, the state can develop, can capitalize on that. Why can't we do a year festival of Igba Bonanimi? Festival of Ibamonami Iba competition. All the villages in Eastern land that can dance this dance. Let them come to Obe Stadium one particular uh, week in a year. Let them display. Let the competition. Let people vote. Companies will sponsor them. Guinness is there. Nigeria Buris is there. Indomie company is there. There are a lot of companies that can sponsor these things. A lot of people, it will drive traffic to the city and there will be a lot of money. But what are we doing? We don't value our culture and we are losing respect, we are losing, losing money. We are losing respect and we are losing money. Uh, if, if, we want to, if we want to go, if we shift now from this cultural music and dance, let's go to uh, dressing. You will see there is a very big problem in our dressing. Uh, when, when we dress to social events, especially people in the diaspora, eh? Sometimes we think we are wearing a uh, dress. Whatever we are wearing, actually not a do. It's Nigerian, per se. You know, most of the things we put on is Nigerian. It has no a do identity. You know, most of this, uh, we call it African wear, African wear, African wear. We, we join them to call it African wear. But these clothes are peculiar normally to a group of people, you know? are peculiar to a group of people. So we should learn how to, when we go to social events, there, there should be, there should be what we, we should learn how to, to dress to reflect our own culture. We should learn how to dress to reflect our own culture. Not, not just Nigerian culture. The, the, the Nigerian state is sick right now. We don't know where it's going to lead. We were a people before the amalgamation in 1914. Whether Nigeria stay or they, they together or they don't stay together, we are still going to be a do people. We have no place going. We are a do. We are Bini. We are a Godo Migodo. This is our identity first and foremost. First and foremost. You know? Yeah, uh, apart from, I think, uh, apart from the okuku, you know, it's good that the, the hairstyle of the women, this okuku, that they, they do is peculiar to us. And I love it because this hairstyle is traditionally peculiar to us. But unfortunately, we only do it, we only do okuku during weddings and during burials during wedding and during burials. I don't know if a do have any other hairstyle that is traditionally uh, 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 the hairstyle of the edos. I don't know, apart from the okuku. Uh, okuku now, it's because of the intricacies and the difficulty and the, so it's not something you can carry every day or that you can carry to every event. So does Bini or a do have a peculiar hairstyle that is that we are known for. I don't know if you know. Please, you can let me know. So you can let me know if you know. But me, I don't know. If Edo women have one style apart from the Okuku, yeah. Thank God that Okuku we have uh, have been. Uh, Okuku has stayed with us. It, it cannot be stolen anymore because from history, it, it has it was um, affiliated to the royal house to the Uwis and the Oloi. So if the Oloi, that is the wives of the king, and the Uwis, that is the princesses, they were, this is with their peculiar hairstyle back in the days. So because of that, it, became, it, it has already become part of history. So no part of Nigeria can, uh, can Ikelebe, uh, you think they used to plate hair with 
Ikbelebe, Ikbelebe. Yeah, they used to plate her with Ikbelebe. Is it peculiar to us? That is the thing. The Ikbelebe style. Was it our culture or did we borrow it? Is it Yoruba? I know it was. I know everybody does Ikbelebe, but what style was peculiar to Edo in the Ikbelebe? You know, if you look, for example, the same Ikbelebe, Yoruba used it to plate hair, but they are, no, I think the Yoruba used the plastic, the rubber. So you know, whenever Yoruba, you see somebody plate hair with rubber, that rubber we used to do, uh, you know, those days we used to do where there was no, used to do all this thing, you put on, put on, dead man lying on the bed, so all those things we call it. Oviodo, we do so, we call it Oviodo. When you're in the, in the classroom, if there's no teacher, we'll just be playing with thread and all that. So, I know the, the, the Yoruba use that one to play to their hair. Then, the Edo's use the Kbelebe. But is there a, a style? I'm talking about the style. If you see Calabar now, for example, they use the Kbelebe, but if you see them, you say, this is Calabar style. You understand? You can say this is Calabar style. If you see somebody using rubber to play, tell you say this is Yoruba. Do we at those have a style like that? If we don't have, is it too late to invent something and make it our own? Because whatever we call culture today started at a point. Is there something about something about culture? Do you know you can develop a culture today? In another hundred years' time, the Edo people that will be living that time, it will already become part of them. So it will become a culture to them. So, so it's not too late to start a trend. It's not too late to start a culture. All right? So if we, it is good, if we could, if Edo could just develop something, especially those of you, those of you that are into movie industry, that are some of my contemporaries in the movie industries that, that are watching me now. You could do a movie where you could develop a style, a hairstyle for Edo people. And if you repeat it in various movies, before you know, it become a trend. Before you know, it become a culture. And because you know, it's, it's, it's picking up. So we could do that. We could do that. So that is that. But apart from the women, the men, do we have a hairstyle? In Edo land for men. Apart from the Uguakbata, the Uguakbata is reserved for the chiefs. Are the Enogi, Zave Nogi, Ave Ochaime, also Uguakbata. So, which one is Ikoto? Ikoto is like Abolo. <laughs> Destiny, you say Abolo. Abolo, Abolo is not a style. Abolo is not a style. Abolo is for for men that are that are hairless, Abolo is not a star, eh? Anyway, if if Abolo if is a star, is it peculiar to Edo people? Is it peculiar to Edo people? All right, so you are, you got, ah, it's like everybody are saying Abolo, Abolo, Abolo. It's okay if Abolo is a hairstyle for the Edo people, and anybody that wears Abolo, they know is is an Edo man. Well, that's good, but I don't think that... I think Abolo is... Anybody can wear it. Anybody can wear it. So, like I'm saying, Uguakbata uh, uh, does not, it belongs to only the, the, the chiefs and the Enigis, and uh, it's not, it doesn't be, belong to the ordinary folks. So, the Enigi have their own hairstyle. The chiefs, are, I mean, the chiefs have their own hairstyle. What are we now? We will develop one, you know? Could develop something, you know. The, the, um, those days, I, 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 you know, there is this hair. When I, my son, when he was younger, I used to leave a portion of hair in the back. Even if I bab everywhere, I leave, I left that portion of hair in the back. So after, when it was going on, I, I was braiding it. I was braiding it, <laughs> just like the kind of style you see in uh, coming to America by where. At the Murphy had that kind of braid in the back. So and um, traditionally, they, I think there are some black culture. It's it's a black culture actually in history. But I don't know if it was peculiar to 
or it was affil we were uh, affiliated to such culture. But I used to love it. I just wanted to make something different then for my son. That's what I did while he was young. So we could, it's not too late to start something like that. So, but the most, the, the thing that also, that also surprised me is this thing. Uh, BJ is not an Edo thing. It's a Nigerian thing. We are talking about Edo identity here. Seriously, we are talking about Edo identity, Edo culture, Edo tradition, styles. You know, no, we are talking about contemporary culture. Okay, now, what of caps? Caps. Because whenever an Edoma sews clothes, you know, the, 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 the either when the, even Agbada, even the normal Agbada is not Edo. Agbada is either Yoruba or Igbo. Okay, fine. We, we, we are not saying they are bad. We could wear them. We could wear them, but I'm t talking. I'm thinking about we also popularizing our own, so to the point where they can even start copying our own. But let everybody know that this is from Edo, you know. So the 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 the, the only Edo cloth that we know now, although it is not popular yet, yeah, but it's only during weddings too they wear it. This a buluku and this a iwu top. Where you have a shirt with Iwu or Ada and Eben as some represent. Some we have this uh, Iwu design here and here. Some we have this uh, Ada and Eben here design with a Buluku, big, long, a Buluku white. So the, I, I know that one is culturally ours. And I've also seen some some chiefs, though it, it, the chiefs used to wear it, but I've seen um, some guys also. Wearing it, this long flowing, it's it, it's slim in the top in the top and it goes flared in the bottom. It's like a a, a manzi for men, and with you know the, there's a way they, I love that, I I love that the the way they wear it. So if we could be wearing that, if we could be, if we could be popularize that, you know, if we could host events. I'm talking about Edo, Edo fashion designers now, tailors. Uh, you, you that design for men, you, if you have tailor association, for example, you could come together, do things like it, cultural day, design things, let people, not let people uh, uh, model them for you. No, invite people. So that we could always, you know, especially like we that live in the diaspora, you know, when you go to events, you 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 dress like that. People will they will wonder. Have you have you imagined? Have you never wore just common boba and rapa, and maybe just come out of your car in a public place? Probably when you're coming from an event or you're coming from church, you stop at Burger King or McDonald's or KFC. To, just to grab a bite with your family and you step out in this African attire, you see the way the white people look, are like, wow, 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 you know? So we are helping to, we are helping to market whatever clothes we are wearing, we are popularizing it. So if we have an Edo attire and they will ask, you know, Oibo, they used to ask, Boba and Rapa is Yoruba place. It's not Edo. Boba and Rapa is not Edo. You know, though we have we have uh, Rapa, we have Rapa. Even if it's if even if it's Yoruba, we we still wear it. Okay, we still we still wear it. And, and not, sometimes so, sometimes most of the things we call Yoruba today may not actually actually be theirs. Okay, maybe they were the one that popularized it to become theirs. That is where the problem is. Sometimes people popularize something and, and, and they can take something and popularize it and it become theirs. For example, how many of you seen this, our uh, Okuku, Edo, 
Edo princess Okuku that we use for wedding these days. Do you know that Igbos have, have they have tried to, they've, they've taken it. They, 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 they've taken it, almost taken it. It's just that, thank God for Edo, uh, Edo uh, women and, uh, the, and the hairdressers, Edo traditional hairdressers. They, 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 they have to come with some innovations to make it more beautiful and unique. So, although the Igbos have taken the beads, they, they do their hair, even they want the veil for the, for the top. The, the Igbos, they do it now in their weddings. Though they, they try to take them, but the way the Edo hairdressers have come up with various innovations to kind of upgrade and stylize this this our women hair so beautiful, then the Igbo people they your hands up because they know say who get her and I'll get her. If you not get her, you not get her. So that is it. So so that is one thing. But Edo caps. I don't know if Edo have a cap. Because whenever an Edo man dress, it's either he put a Yoruba cap, then I come here, or he put this Aousa cap, you know, they sell cap all over the place in Aousa, Aousa quarter area, some sell it on the street, so we just buy from them when you dress up, you just put Aousa cap, Shikina, back with me, or a Yoruba cap. When Taylor's, when, when Taylor's, yeah, when Taylor's so, uh, dress for you say so cap. If you don't put, you go put your rubber cap. Especially this Agbada way, so they just bend the Yoruba cap. They put it for you. So and which means Edo do not even even if Edo has a cap, it is not popular. It is not popular. Actually, uh, last year uh, I I had two caps made for me, and I told them that I don't want the conventional cap. That looks like a Yoruba or uh, an Hausa. I, I, I had to tell him to raise it, to raise it beyond the normal level so it could look higher, you know, so it could look higher than the conventional, uh, their cap. So he, so, but unfortunately, they over raised it and I look like, uh, they, they, they just double it instead of it to make it uh, one and a half. The, le the normal length, they just make it double. So when I put it, it's just like very long then. So, uh, so I just wanted to be different, you know. I don't, I didn't want to be Hausa or be Yoruba in in in, uh, in the event because it's, it was uh, my mother-in-law's burial. The, so the event. So I didn't want to look Hausa Yoruba. I just wanted to be unique. I want to be a do. So that is that. So if a, a cap could be designed from some from the from the pattern of what the our some of the enogis are wearing. Some of the enogi I do see they have some peculiar caps. So we could we could design something similar from it. Could design something and and we will popularize it so that whenever you wear that uh, ebuluku and that uh, bini, you put on the cap. Then, but by the time it goes together, before you know, it becomes our property. So we we popularize that we can do that. We can invent one and popularize it. So that 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 is that. Now, if you look at cuisine, our local cuisine, I'm talking about our traditional cuisine, our local de delicacy. It uh, I don't know. Can some of you tell me? Which soup is Edo soup? You say you have the white round cap. Uh, that's the, that white round cap. I don't know if it's Hausa have round cap, Yoruba have round cap. And you can differentiate Hausa cap from a Yoruba cap. That's what I'm saying. So we, Edo should be able, we should be able also to differentiate our caps. We should not be, when you put on a cap, nobody should be confused whether this is a Yoruba. They, so they should, we should be, it should be peculiar. We should have to find a way. Okay, you say Egusi soup. Okay, so Egusi soup is peculiar to Edo. And Edo is a okra soup. 
Okra. Okay. What is black soup? <laughs> oh, you will. Okay. Which one is black soup now? Which one is black soup? Water leaf, a bottle don. Okay, bitter leaf soup. Ogi, that is a goosey soup. <laughs> okay, now, now, you guys are writing a bowl of Igbo soup. Okay, Igbo soup. It's a dough soup, all right? Now, you know, you know why I'm saying this? Yoruba, we know Yoruba with Ewedu. If you say, if I say, who gave Ewedu soup, all of you will shout Yoruba. If I say, who gets uh, uh, Enyobo, all of you will shout Urobo. If I say, who get Banga, all of you will also uh, shout Urobo. If I say who get uh, Eddie Kain Kong, all of you will shout Kalaba. If I say who get uh, uh, Offen Sala, all of you will shout Ibo. So, does a dough have one soup that is peculiar to us? You see? All this one we are saying, a ban or these are these are things that every other ones so the people also eat. Yoruba have a ban or they have bitter leaf. Igbo have a ban or they have bitter leaf. They have a border don, they have a bar for they sure it's like it's short anybody all this a be a be a be a be nobody eats a be more than Igbo people. Igbo eat a be, they eat all your a be, they eat a be oh, they beat a binya, a baka, they eat all the a be. They eat uh, a bozisa. They eat all the ebe. To the extent they eat ebe that you do not even know that exists. So, so it's like I, I, I'm talking about if if you say this soup, mention we, we know that or even ukbo uh, ikbo no Linda I say ukbo ikbo is supposed to be I K P O. Okay, ikbo is even the ikbo. How many of you? It's not. It's not a popular delicacy, because I don't think you will go to a restaurant and say, "Give me igbo soup." It's not a popular delicacy, even in Benin. This igbo, a lot of people don't even want to eat igbo. It's not a. It's not a a, a, a delicacy that people love. Not to talk of you, your, you people as a do people love. Not to talk of popularizing it. So. Yeah, it's predominant, Linda, but people don't like it. People don't eat it. You, don't, you can't go to a restaurant, even in Benin, and say, give me a bowl soup with eba. But you, I, I don't know if you get what I mean. So this is what I'm trying to say. So, uh -huh, even you don't like it, child. So we, it's like Edo doesn't have. You know, one thing about Igbo people that I love is that they are they are able to create things. Igbo do not have soup, but they, they from nowhere they made what they call this offense sara. They just popularize it. Uh, uh, Owo is urobo multi. From Enyobo, uh, then they got Owo. <laughs> okay, all right. So, what is a uh, grace mai? You say, what is a yahe soup? What, what are you trying to to write? A ya a yahe soup is good because we don't popularize it. I don't get what you are trying to say. Got the egg sauce and yam. Got the egg sauce and yam. Even when you both people they chop them. So I'm thinking I'm talking about something that we just mentioned, you will know that it's peculiar to Edo. Just like when you mention uh Ewedu, you people will think of uh, uh of Yoruba. If you mention offense, people will think of Igbo. 
you mention a decaying of people will think of Calabar. If you mention uh, to the uh, Shinkanfa, people will think of Ausa. You know, something like that that is peculiar to us. Let you know, we could popularize these things. We could popularize these things. You could you could hold all this all this Maggie and no company. You hold them. They go sponsor event for traditional cuisine. And they make some BB restaurant for Edo there to do some competition. They, you can create something. What? Grace Man, okay, you mean Iege. Iege is what you're trying to say. Iege is what our Yoruba call uh, a wedu. So Yoruba don't popularize that one. They don't, they don't collect that from you. So Yoruba don't call. Well, copy and we do so i don't know if you, if you know you have not invited some uh, people please do so right now as we continue let us go further uh with uh since uh just invite somebody invite people share and uh, let us continue so as i'm as i was saying the local cuisine could be could be we could we could come up with something we could come up with something the, you know because why i'm saying this the, the state government is not going to do anything they are not going to they are not going to do all this thing we are talking about the only hope we have is some of you that are business people some of you that are philanthropists some of you that are restaurant owners some of you that uh, uh, know people in the in the Benin traditional council the palace, you know, can, we can just come up with things in these areas we are discussing. <laughs> Who said the bear A bear way? When they use a bear way, cook soup. <laughs> yeah, here is popular in Asian land. Yeah. Here is popular in Asian land, but we are not talking about whether it's popular. If you Cook here now. Somebody come to a restaurant and see it. He will call it a way do and go ascribe unto Yoruba. That is what I'm saying. Okay, there is only one thing that is very popular in Esalan too. It is uh, called Okma. Okma is a Okma is, is the one one tree that has some purple purple uh, folded flower. They used to slice it. The, is it Okma or so? They used to slice it in soup. And when it's strong, kind of, when you chew it, it looks like a chewing meat. So it's very popular among the Esan, our Esan brothers and sisters. Okay, Linda, I say Iege is different from Ewedu. What's the difference? Okay. I don't think... I don't think uh, uh, is different from uh, Ewedu. I think it's the same thing, just different name. Yeah, well, okay. They say it's not dif different. It's not this. Uh, it's not di uh, this. Is, what did you just say? Is it different or not? It's not the same. Okay. Iege and Ewedu and Ewedu is not the same. Maybe I'm missing something. But to me, I, I feel it. I felt it was the same. Maybe I missed something there. All right, but but there is. Uh... Okay, let's continue. Language. Where are those? Where are those? Okay, Fina Gabriel, you say Iege is different. It's different from Ewedu. All right. So now need to teach me that. I need to know the difference. Anyway. It's different by both draw. Okay. There are different leaves. All right. So does it mean we don't have a way to live in Benin and Yoruba does not have a leaves in Yoruba land? Okay. But they have the same odor, right? I do not confuse me. Me as a big cuckoo. What are you confused me? Are you telling me Iege and Ewedu, they smell the same when you cook it. 
Me, I don't like it though because this, they smell. For me, I think they smell the same. They taste the same. A way do is a be yo yo, okay? A be yo yo. Okay, is it Iyere? That one that smell. There is one leaf that smell very bad. Is that what they call Iyere in Edo? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. All right. A B yo yo. Okay. They say A way do say B yo yo. And uh, all right. And, and uh, there is one leaf they call a bear where we are. I bet maybe change that name. Muna help me tell that 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 a bear where we are. It is very is very nice and it smells well. A B yo yo is a way do fina Gabriel. Okay. A B yo yo is a a way do okay so a b a okay but it a b a is one i think there's one lead that smells very bad they know they take that kind of thing cuckoo yeah I, I i my mother when i was young made the mistake of cooking something one wide leaf it looks succulent he cook it it get one funny odor i don't need that thing again if I don't have to be I bet I don't count and join the dull delicacy. Nobody go eat up. If I don't have to be I'm thinking I'm beginning to suspect that leaf now. Okay. It's white. It looks like almost like that leaf they used to when a, a woman has a newborn baby. That white leaf they used to to, to put in fire and squeeze to, 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 to I mean, treat the navel or the placenta. Of, the, of a newborn baby, that leaf, that is how this particular leaf I'm talking about is a biege, eh? a be a bakwa. Hey Jesus, a b a b e. What you that call it right now, my people? A leaf don't show. Different leaf don't show. Leaf don't show. Okay, whatever now. Whatever, but we, we we get the idea of what we are trying to say that I don't need to have one special soup. We no way when they mention this soup, a boboli. I tire of my sister Linda. Names don't show. <laughs> All right. No, we we have. Listen, the truth of the matter is that we have different leaves. We have different leaves. In short, there is we have even different. Jesu, a bahala wozai. Iege look like some pega, some paper. Iyo some paper. A bamo. Okay, my people. Would I try different if they don't show? Oh, the a b, would I not put a, a, b, a big guy a bawolo and all those? Uh, no, actually, there are a lot of leaves. Actually, there are a lot of leaves. One of the best leaves I actually like is a bear, a boziza. A boziza is very good for pepper soup, you know, those boziza leaves, and, and there is a way you could prepare it and very delicious but how are we going to make it a delicacy peculiar to the edo people you know if you look at what they call uh edi kainko edi kainko is actually nothing it's just a bunch of meat different type of meat put uh, just like everything just meat 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 and nothing else uh often sarah often it's just the same thing often sarah is just meat and meat and meat and nothing else, but they were able to popularize it. That is what I'm saying. It's not. It's, it's not about about uh, the soup. We have a lot of a lot of soup, a lot of leaves. How could you combine them? Can you combine two leaves and add one other thing, one peculiar spice, and make it popular? You know that's what I'm saying. You could do that. Somebody could do that. You could, you could, you know, you could open a restaurant in Benin and do one pe particular soup 
just combination and you are, you'll be the only person having that soup. And you advertise it before you know everybody troops there to come and eat it. And before you know, they'll say me they go eat that thing for that joint. That thing, before you know it's not popular. So now, so this is what I'm trying to uh, talk about. The, what they call uh, uh, Ofe, Ofonubo in Igbo land. Okay, we have a boy war, which is uh, uh, bitter leaf normally. But when the Igbo people, when they cook the Ofonubo, it's the same bitter leaf. They, dif they make it different. They put all the orishiri, orishiri all this uh, different, different meat, fish, crayfish, uh, uh, stockfish. All the, they put everything, they jam everything together. They put the bitter leaf, their bitter leaf, instead of grinding it, they, they have a way of doing it. Then they now add some coco, boiled cocoa yam to thicken it. That's all. But the thing is this they have been able to make it their own. You know, look at Komo Ishiewu. Goat head, though. Goat head. Eh? They, now, if, they, if, they, if some of us in Benin, they say, let's go to eat Shewe joint, you'll be very happy. Wait till be there. Goat head. How, is it not the Igbo that popularized it? Wait till the goat head. Goat head, uh, spice, and a cow finish. Goat head, though. Head. No, they, they were able to make it look. They, they can't design that. This uh, is apart from the goat head. What if they call the other unkwobi? The other one unkwobi. They popularized it. Do some one small wooden uh, this thing. Put tar on top. You know. So these are things we are talking about. Let uh, do people. We, we God has blessed us with a lot of things. Let let us not begin to. Let us look for a way to also uplift our own. That's what we are saying here. So enough of that. A bear, a bear, a bear, a bear. Where a bear? Somebody wrote a bear. Where actually? My my guy. I've been at my sister. Not go try cook a bear. Where I beg of you. Not that now. Okay. Okay. Now. Language. Language. Those of you we were raised, those of you that were raising your hands say you don't know how to speak Bini. Raise up your hand again. Register, register, may we have you. Don't register now. If you know you can't speak a dull language well, say I. Raise up your hand. Say presence, sir. Say forgive me, my people. Just write something. Because your number one identity is your language. Your number one identity is your language. <laughs> Linda, you of all people, you wrote <laughs> you, you wrote a bear where we are, okay. Alright, maybe you are thinking of a bear where we are. Maybe it's the air where we are you wanted to write. So alright. Now language is your number one identity. The first thing a child it, it, the first thing a child reckons with concerning his identity is language. And the reason why so many children don't speak language is the fault of the parents. Because we do not really know the importance of this language. We do not really know how important it is. You know, sometimes what you, what, 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 when, you, when you don't give so much thought to a thing, you commonize it. All right? You commonize it. So language is very, very important. But funnily, our people don't see it as important. They, 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 it is alarming. You are born and bred in Benin or in Edo land. You don't speak Benin. You don't speak Esa. You, you, because I know that some of so yeah, if you, those are people, those people that are living in the rural area, they speak. Uh, if you if people that are Esan that live in Esan land, they speak Esan. Afema, the, the people that live in 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 the Afema area, they speak. Ora, they speak. But immediately, even Edo, uh, Benin people that lives in Yokoriomo, Yekovia, uh, and the Honda area, they speak. The problem starts when everybody, you know, Benin City is swallowing everywhere. Everybody, when everybody comes to the city, 
language begins to disappear. Some people, they begin to form as if speaking English is, uh, is pride. As if to speak English is pride. It long, English is no longer a, a form of, to them, English is no longer a form of communication or identity. It's just, uh, it's just, uh, I speak, eh, you know, I speak English. You know, we don't, we don't speak Bini now. Our house, they don't speak, they agree with speak Bini. You know, you know, you see, there's a way they elevated English at a time when we were growing up now. We actually felt that people who were speaking English were, were better off. You know, we, we felt they were better off because they, they were speaking English. You no, know? our time, it is not common. This daddy, mommy was not common. It's either uh, a baba or iye. That is all what color appearance. A baba rene, a baba dene, iye rene, iye tiwe, baba tiwe. That is what we we're saying. But group of people started mixing up with us. They, they will be calling their own daddy, mommy. And it looks like uh, uh, even we, we though they call our own daddy, mommy, we felt like ah, those people are je. Just for calling father, daddy, and mommy. They will see them like a jet. So we're kind of giving the guys some kind of preference. We didn't even know that they were selling their, themselves out. You no, know? just daddy, mommy alone. From there, you know, we know they speaking. We know they speak vernacular. We know they speak vernacular for my house. My papa know the agreement we speak vernacular. You know that is how they started. You know the, the, that complex. They were trying to give us complex issue. And they actually succeeded in giving us that complex issue. I don't, you know, when you see somebody speaking English, you know, they come, they was just, especially, when they, especially when maybe in a transfer carry them come from Lagos or from Port Harcourt, or, you know, they'll be just performing English and um, that. And that is how many of them lost their language. They lost their language. And even some people that were were born and bred in the city there in Benin that they didn't even leave, especially when their parents are teachers and uh, headmasters. Some of them were, I don't know, whether it's a form of discipline or is a way to make them uh, uh, get, understand education better, I don't know, but they were, they were not allowing the kids to speak Benin. They call it vernacular, you know, when they measure vernacular, it looks like saying, uh, the way that they talk about, yeah, speak vernacular, we don't speak vernacular, we don't speak vernacular. If like say you a speaker, say you the, like say you they commit sin, you know, and today it has become a problem. It has become a problem. Many of us didn't actually know the importance. I'm talking about even people back home. Worst is those of us living outside the country. You know, those of us living outside the country, some a, a, in short, ninety nine percent of us, me and not just say hundred percent because I've actually seen some kids, some parents where, where kudos to them who really taught their children to speak Benin, even while living in Europe. Wow, I, I, some people like that, and kudos to them. It's, it was not an easy tax for them, but, but they thank God that they had this idea and the knowledge to do it. But some of us, we did date. We didn't, we lost out. Because of that, our children don't understand the language. We don't understand the language. They, 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 they yeah, the they Yoruba actually... You see, sometimes, it, so it's still the same thing. The same thing, if you see Yoruba children, they speak Yoruba in, in Europe. In America, they speak Yoruba. Even Igbos, they teach their children Igbo language. They teach their children Igbo language. They, 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 the children speak. Just forget any, even uh, Mali, Senegal, they all speak their own language, plus the language of the country they are in, plus English. But we, the Edo, 
you know, one of the number one reason why most of us uh, missed out is because uh, most of our adult people, we don't marry ourselves, okay? We don't marry ourselves. It's either we marry Ibo, we marry Yoruba, even where even we we'll marry close to home, maybe we we'll marry a son or a do marry a son, a son marry a do or ora or afema or robo or whatever. We cease to speak the, you know, which language now I can't speak now. A do marry a son, which language now I speak, you know, not English. So because of that, it becomes it, it it goes down to the children. But it's a problem. When the woman or the man you marry is an Edo man or Edo woman like yourself, where two of you can communicate in English, uh, in the, uh, the in Edo language, and yet your children does not speak a word, is a problem. Is a problem. So, no matter where, to, to those of us that have made a mistake. We are finding it hard to correct it. So those of us that are not that have not made the mistake yet, it is not too late to begin. It is not too late to begin. Okay, destiny. Your husband is a, is a Shakiri. He told you to teach your children uh, uh, Edo, which is good. Whether you teach them a do or whether you teach them a shakiri, no problem. But one thing is they should learn the language that gives them their identity. You know, their father is a shakiri, you are a do. If you are able to teach them a do, it's good. If it is a shakiri you are teaching them, it's also good. As, because it's part of their own identity. You understand? I, I'm not, I, if the ch children could learn one after the other, it's good. Okay, it's good. But, but, but uh, uh, some of us, uh, some people are trying. I've actually seen, I've seen an Igbo man marrying a white woman, having a child with the white woman, and the child speaking Igbo. Seriously, all this thing is when you put your mind into something to do it, you can do it well. I can, somebody is an Igbo. The wife is a white woman. Ibon Pekin, Ibon or Ibon, Miss, Miss uh, Race, half caste, the way we call them for Nigeria. And the half caste, they speak Ibon. So, so we actually, we really do not have excuse. It's just that sometimes we don't think that these things matter, and they really do matter. Sometimes we, we just commonize certain things that should be taken seriously. And that is why we have this kind of issues. That, that is why we have this kind of problem. It's a, it's a big problem, you know. And uh, I, those of you who still have the opportunity, please continue. Please do. It's not too late. Do your best. So you do your best to make sure you teach your children the language. Even some of you say, say that they don't even speak. Some of you don't even speak the language. How are you going to teach your children the language? Yeah. So it's so first of all you 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 start learning the language then you you when you don't or best you and the children they learn it together at the same time so that because if you wait for you to master it before you teach the children it may take long so you and the children be learning it maybe the children go even savvy before you they will even teach you Finnish it's possible so my people. Uh, Language is important. Let us learn our language and teach our children our language. Now, I want to say this thing. Marriage. Traditional wedding. Traditional wedding. We are doing our traditional wedding as if it's an alternative rather than the main thing. No, the way we do wedding these days, we do wedding as if it is an alternative. You know, this day when people are planning wedding, we say, um, we'll, we'll do native law and custom, 
on Wednesday. We just do a small, we just gather some people. And the May wedding, now Saturday. Uh -huh. And then from there, we'll come go, we'll do, come up for church, we'll come go, uh, we'll come go uh, uh, hall, go dance. After the reception on Monday, on Sunday, we'll go do Thanksgiving. On Monday, we'll come go uh, council. So we relegate the traditional marriage as if it is to fulfill all righteousness. Whereas the traditional wedding is the main wedding. The church, the council, anyway, because of the state and the law, the council is recognized by the state. The tradition is recognized equally by the state. You see, that, that, that is the, the funniest thing. We, 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 think, we think that the traditional wedding is, ne is not recognized. Traditional wedding is recognized by the state. It's recognized by the state. The only wedding that is not recognized is church wedding. For a church wedding to be recognizable, an official, in, in short, in Nigeria... In Nigeria, I don't know the law. The law in Nigeria states, the, the matrimonial law in Nigeria states that you must conduct it in the in, in the council. So, so invariably, your wedding that is conducted in the church may not even be valid. So, the real wedding is traditional wedding. So, why don't you? Put all your energy, all your resources on that traditional wedding. Why not? Why do we like to copy waiting be the tradition of other people? Like the wedding that just took place in England by Prince Harry and uh, Meghan. That is a traditional wedding. It is British traditional wedding. But we will replicate it in Africa and call it church wedding. But that is the tradition of the British people. They have been practicing for ages, for hundreds of years. All right? Yeah, agreed that most of us are Christians today. Christianity have the, the, the even... That church wedding is not a Christian wedding. Let me tell you now. Church wedding is not a Christian wedding. I am a preacher of the word of God. I know what I'm telling you. Church wedding is not found anywhere in the Bible. But I know because, because if you see what some pastors and churches are making people go through just to conduct church wedding for them. They give you list upon list upon list. They give you, they tax you just to conduct wedding. If you have not paid your tithe for the past 10 years, they will make you to pay almost all the tithe or half of it before they can conduct a wedding for you. You will come use your half of your wedding money to pay tithe first before a father or a pastor will now say, I want to bless your man. And the blessing of man and the blessing of God. In short, let me tell you, by bloodline, the only powerful, the powerful people that can bless your marriage are your parents. If your pastor pray for you, he pray on the capacity, his capacity as a pastor. Just the way he prays for you if you get headache. Or when he prays for you when you're sick. Now the same potency now in prayer of a wedding day, on that wedding they go carry. It doesn't carry blood weight because it not be your papa. That is what the blessing of a parent is the best blessing in life. There is power. When, you're, when, you, when you go and give your... When you, you, when you go and meet a parent of a woman and say, Fat Papa, I won't marry your picking. And then say, go ahead, my child. We give you. 
we take with you, you bring, we eat and wear, and they pray for you. That is the best prayer ever. So why, why don't we spend so much money on the traditional welding and leave all those jara aside? It's, they are not compulsory. Okay, me, I'm telling you, it's just, well, make me, if God permits me to do some movies in the future, I'm going to do something that, that amaze you. If you must do a church wedding, what stops you from dressing like an Edo princess to that church? Must you wear white garment? Because saying and so then they do and they come. What stops you from wearing the Edo traditional Agbada to the church and do it? Must I wear suit? Even the suit and the white garment where the British people they wear. It is not a biblical thing. Not the Bible they see and not their culture, not their tradition. All those things where they see, what would they do for church, not their tradition. Na traditional marriage, now we they imitate the foreign traditional marriage. English, not so what they call it, English wedding. Na English wedding, English people wedding. So we can't change our to church wedding. And nothing like that for church. There is nowhere in the Bible where you see that a wedding took place in the church. Exactly, Destiny Clark. Suit is a British attire. So nothing stops you from be from doing something different. Nothing stops you from storming the church. Just storm the church. Your bridesmaid, all of them deck in Nigeria in, in, in a door attire. Your best men, all of them deck in Buluku. You carry your gilly. Come, enter church like that. Everybody will say, Wow. You before you know the trend will start. It mustn't be, you mustn't imitate anybody. You mustn't be imitate anybody. So your, your culture, your tradition should come first. You see, one thing I like about the Yoruba people, if you see now, Yoruba people, they are forcing their Oyibo husbands to do traditional wedding. They come to Niger, they wear their that they are bad, that they all of them dress. All the, I've seen them on, on YouTube. If five, all the friends, the bride, all the white guys, the bride, all of them dress traditionally. They come do the wedding. But our people, we they like on both team. We know they like our own. Why? Why? Like the small daughter of my, of, my, of one of our friends used to say, Mommy, why? She will say, why, mommy, why? My people, why? So let us pay less attention to things of other people. I give me my rajema. I give me my rajema. Give me my rajema. Love your thing. Love your culture. Love your people. Love your music. Love your language. Love your, your, your cuisine, your, your delicacy. Love your attire. Come out with your identity. Arab man, Arab woman don't care. He go still wear black. Put black shade. Pose for picture. And yet you don't see him face. Because now your identity. Talk less of we. When a do princess appear like this. Hey. When a do a do woman appear like this, even if now tradition you want you want uh, council you want to wear your cultural dressing, do one. Let us popularize our own thing, my people. And God will bless us. It's not compul even it's not even compulsory. You must do you. Do, you know what it is. You know the way we are wasting money these days. Now, the way we are wasting money these days is we'll do um, introduction. In the introduction, we will kill two goats, cook one bag of rice, 
10 crates of drinks, um, cartons, money go come out. After the introduction, we will come do, some people they do first and second introduction and they go throw party. After that, we will come and do traditional wedding. We will carry music, we will cut, we will do cake. Yeah, that's one thing I also like now they are doing in Benin now. This cake, this traditional cake. When I try, oh, but cake no be our food. Okay, well, we not we not try, but cake not be our own food. It's not compulsory. Say you must do cake. If na yam, it men our ton. If na roast, if na roast correct five it men with red oil with alligator pepper, misa, share for people for that. So with, instead of you cutting cake, you cut it men, roasted it men, or that. <laughs> So, well, if you decide to cut cake, fine. As long as you do a representation of calabash, cola, I forgive you. It's okay. It's sweet. It's fine. But somebody can break from that and roast ikme someday. Or cut paneria someday. <laughs> Not in square. Okay. That one. <laughs> that one. That one pass. Then they will do traditional wedding. They will come and do church wedding. They will come and do Thanksgiving on Sunday. They will come and do council wedding. How many celebrations now? Five. You know, be five with that. Uh, introduction, traditional wedding, uh, church wedding. Uh, that church wedding, let's say we we'll add the reception journal. Then uh, Sunday is a Thanksgiving for church. And uh, on Monday or Tuesday, we say uh, court wedding or council wedding. Five celebration. You are celebrating a wedding, and forgetting that wedding not be marriage. Wedding is different from marriage. Wedding a jolly jolly. Now when you don't finish the thing, you come enter house. When I go a honeymoon, things see the sweet. When I come come house. Now, from the day when I come back from honeymoon and marriage, they start. So, some people go into debt in order to do wedding. They, they are most annoying part these days. They will come meet you. Uh, uh, bros, hey, my bros. Uh, see, Listo. Uh, okay, and my husband is saying goodbye, ring. Uh, we still remain, still remain cow, canopy. Musician, which one you help my help us do now? Uh, uh, you uh, cow not too much for you now, bros. Cow not too much for you. You do cow, you buy cow now. Uh, okay, okay, maybe you help us with musician. You want to do wedding, you don't become beggar. This is what is happening in Benin right now. They just they come to they, they because they want to wear, they trouble everybody, they trouble the whole family. It trouble the whole, the whole, uh, the whole friends. The whole friends are in soup, so we even tell you to buy their ring. And I uh, just order my ring, uh, my ring, and the woman we want bring her from Dubai. You know the ring you say now just one hundred fifty thousand. Uh, if only no, now be only my own and me and my husband. Oh. No, normally they, it is the women they, they, that are more forceful to go and to go and be asking for help. Now, if if I help you marry, now me go still help you stay for the marriage. Hmm? See, this is what is happening because too much expenses. And who send una? Who send una? Why don't you do the normal thing? According to your pocket, reserve the rest, make your wife happy, make your husband happy, and live together. Mm -mm. Sometimes, after the wedding, wait till they scatter that same marriage, now the debts with them. Oh, 
Eh, na your fault. Now you cross them. Eh, no be you say me will carry some money. I say me will carry some. Eh, eh, all this upcoming musician, hundred thousand. You know, agree. You say now we must carry on some money. No be make quick pay five hundred thousand. Eh, eh, what of you? Oh, eh, now let me now they talk. What of you? You don't know how much you take back love for your papa. You don't know how much you take back love for your mama. You know, because you you spend too much money in other things. And the normal thing becomes a problem when I call the quarrel over normal thing way immediately after marriage. Some couples on the day that wedding night now quarrel the till they come off for a hall that night. They go sleep for the same bed. One will sleep for parlor, one will sleep for the other. If people if people follow the go house, some they will sleep for the same bed, one will face one face. That same night, while I don't start, same night. Why? Because they they they, they do pass their budget. They do pass their budget. And they will be so fagged out. They, they will be so fagged out. How can somebody do wedding on Thursday? Even before that, you do a traditional wedding on a Thursday. Before that traditional wedding, you have been running around. You are already you've been running around making sure that things go go well. And you 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 you, you your strength is sapped. Then eventually you finish. Then you only have just Friday gap. And that gap, Friday gap we will get many things they will never do. You know, even you will run around, you will fall for bread, you will sleep. Before you know, the the uh, five o'clock in the morning, makeup artists don't come. Uh, address I don't come. They don't wake you. You you start to do hair or you sit down. You will tire. You be you be bright. You don't they frown because you don't tire. You don't tire. The husband will just ask you one question, one thing. You don't flare up because you don't tire. Well, where the way they never start. Well, I saw one video. <laughs> I saw one video recently on YouTube. For when I was show the bridge for Lagos, the bride just come out for motor, you begin the work out. The husband, you're the pursuer, they go. The woman, they cross road. The husband, they cross road. He said, you know, they do it again. <laughs> Don't tire. So, my people, let us be wise. Let's use wisdom in all these things. So, let us value our culture, our tradition. Now, what about our given names? This is one area... Because we talked about this thing on Wednesday when we were discussing about the some of the Odysseus. And it just crept in into the discussion, into our discussion. So, names that we give, this I found many Edo people guilty, culpable of this. We do not appreciate our Edo names. Yes, fine, we know... I'm not talking about the English name now because English name is already part of our identity. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. The English name is already part of our identity, right? Because we were colonized by the British by virtue of schooling, religion, whatever, whatever. English name has been... Uh, we, we now identify with English language. English also being the lingua franca of Nigeria. So... It is understandable that you could give English name to your children. But in addition, why do you give a name of a tribe that you have no cultural affiliation with? You have no identity we could do not identify with. Why would you give your child name your child after such tribes where even those tribes does not even know that you exist? They don't even know that you exist, but yeah, you 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 value you you value them more than you value yourself. We were analyzing this on Wednesday. We're beginning to if you see names, Yoruba names, way beneath people they be, you will shock. And these people have no father beni, mother beni, father Esa, mother Esa. Father Afemai, Mother Afemai, Father Ora, Mother Ora. You know, Edo generally. Now I'm talking right now, I'm talking to all the Edo people. 
Okay? How come? Uh, <laughs> if I me, I want to change my name to English or Benin name now, Ute Tenegiabi. Ute Tenegiabi is actually a nice name. It's a nice name. Ute, you could call yourself Ute. Why would you want to change it to English? You are already Marvis Maxwell. <laughs> okay? You, know, you are Marvis Maxwell. You are one of the people we are talking about. You are only you know Marvis, your papa and Maxwell. So, where, where you come from? Hmm? Okay. You see, you see where I got Lexi from? My name is actually Alexander Uyekbe Osunde. So, I, I have, I, if you look at my Facebook, it's there. I am uh, I'm Saint Lexi Uyi Osunde. So my my net Benin name is there. My family name is there. You know, so it's like that. But what, what I'm even the English name, just like what I just told you, is also part of my identity. You know, English is also part of my identity in the sense that the the if the English colonized my nation, they annexed my nation. They amalgamated my nation with Nigeria. Then I studied in English. English is a, is a, a lingua franca in Nigeria. So that is not a problem. That's not what I'm saying because we could we are identifying. English is also part of my identity right now. The language, not the cult, the British culture. Talking about the language, but my where we are talking is that, for example, I'm not Hausa. How sad did he conquer me? He didn't conquer my nation. We don't have any affiliation. We don't have anything in common. Then I'll just have a child. I name him Danjuma. That is what I'm saying. There are so many Benin people with, with Yoruba names. Uncountable. Bosse. Ekundayo. Kayode. Uh, Biola, uh, different, different, different names, Yoruba names, and these people have no bearing. No, if you are, if you have connection, if you are affiliated, no problem. If one of your parents are Yoruba, no problem. Or if you are related one way or the other to them, no problem. I'm telling you, people with no relationship at all. People with no relationship at at all. I know a lot. Like, like, especially, uh, okay, Ajo, you're saying now, uh, somebody's saying Ajo, from Bini. Uh, 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 some people have Taye uh, Koinde, Taye Koinde, Koinde. I'm not, I'm, the people I'm talking about, they are not nicknames. These are people I know. Bosse, uh, Yabo. These are people I know. They are not no talk of people I don't know. These are not nicknames. They are just their names. They bear it. They write it in school, and uh, and it's some are even going to with Hausa name Dauda. Some Benin people are bearing Dauda. Some are bearing bearing Giwa. Some are bearing different different names. You no, know? and and. The most painful, my own problem is that the most painful part of it is this. If it is reciprocal, I, I, I won't care. If it is reciprocal, I won't care. You know, if it is like daily, you know, daily. But the point is, these people, you will never see one of them bearing an Edo name. So why they not they why they not they use our I don't do nickname for their side? If you say you are, it's a nickname, why should we be the one using their name to do nickname? Then Aisha, Aisha, exactly. There are some Benin girls calling themselves Aisha. You know. So that that is a problem. Is a problem. We should be proud of what we have. Let us. This is how people get lost. 
This is how people get lost. Although I know back in the days, especially people joining the army, uh, because of the, the tribalism in the army, and uh, a, lot of, if, the, a lot of people were uh, have forced to add outside names to their names in order to be accepted in the army. Eh? So, okay, some people, we say some people, they be a shade. You have a future topic for this platform, who wear its origin, affiliations, and essence. Oga, do you know, do you, do you, Martin Sigbinovia, which is a very good thing, we could discuss who or where, and uh, so we could identify how they all came, where they came from. Yeah, I know a lot, but I don't know everyone. Only I'll make some research. But if you have, uh, if you have information, Martin, you can also let me know and send them to me. I know a lot of them, but there are so many of them I do not know as well. So we could make research, we could also bring this topic up and and see the greetings Ukuna we wear so that you identify the tribe, I mean the family you come from and the village you come from and you could also meet a, a people who have the same greetings with you here and, and connect. So that is that. So like I was saying, it is good if they were also copying us, naming that. Just if you see a, a Yoruba man, a woman now naming uh, Itoha or a Kina Dwesi or a Birane, it would be it would be nice. Me, I won't talk, but it's not like that. Just like the way you know, you know, an Edo man. You know, I used to see Edo man, rich men. They will be doing party in Benin. They will go to Son go and bring Sonia a day to be need to come and play music for them. They will go and carry Ebenezer Obe to come and play. They will go and carry Shino Peter. Even this uh, Ayefele, they will go and carry Ayefele. They will bring them to Benin. And you will never see one Yoruba person come to Benin to carry a Kabama. As good as this uh, young man, the, uh, I mean man, you will never see they come from Yoruba land or Igbo land to come and carry our musician, go play for them. What cause that? It doesn't happen. But we, we go far away. I don't know whether our pride. I don't know whether it's a pride. Is a, is a pride because of, I don't know whether it's. I don't really know what is wrong. It's high time we change our attitude in all of these things. All right? The other day we were talking about the, the, the religion aspect of it. Uh, how most of these uh, wash idols, they worship today, how they all came from another land. Like, out, like outside the worship of the, of the one true God. Why would anyone worship a foreign god? Why would somebody come to your country, to your nation, and bring in your juju where you don't know before? You will, you will join and they serve them. This one was done by our, our forefathers. This is not a problem of our generation. Although to an extent, this generation have ignorantly joined them. Now, if you look at the names, like we were saying on Wednesday, like, all these names like Ogun, Shango, uh, Ifa, all these names, they are not Edo names. Definitely the Juju are not Edo Juju. Like I told you last uh, Wednesday, Edo does not worship Juju. The traditional Edo people, they don't worship Juju. They worship Osano Odua Udazi. Uh, and that is what they worship. The first Ogiso, the reason they call him Ogiso was the king of the sky. They worship the Udazi. They believe that he came from God. Even the traditional story says the added song of Osanobua came from the sky and found the kingdom. That is folklore. I'm talking about the mythology of Edo, Edo myth uh, of creation. The Edo creation myth. They believe that the son of Osanobua came from the sky, came from heaven, 
and founded the kingdom. So they worship God. And they represented the worship of God with Osagbaye. And everything they used to worship that God, all the sacrifice they do, is with white, everything white. White pigeon, white coconut. Even if the coconut is not white, they, they will use white or a chalk to rub it. They wash, they, they, our ancestors worship God, Osagbaye. They will use white to rub the coconut. So that it will be white. Inside the coconut is white. So that the outside will be white. Even if when you there's a when you they used to to plug. They will tie white cloth on top. That when you they will scrape this back away. They will use white chalk to rub it. Everything is white. White chalk. Everything is white because they believe that God is pure. That is what they were doing. And almost similar to what the Jews were doing in the Bible. The Jews were also doing sacrifices to, to God. So most of these things we would see, we think, juju, you know, sometimes our idea has been corrupted. We think juju, juju. The, the Jews were doing a lot of sacrifices to, 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 to Yahweh. They were doing sacrifices to Yahweh. Our, our, our ancestors were doing the same thing to God. Until... Non, from nowhere, they imported Ogun from nowhere. They imported Oromila. They imported Shango. They imported uh, Eshu. None of this juju is a Bini juju. Why would they like other people think to the extent they are juju? We call them the worship and pass them. Now, if you go to some houses in Bini, you will see Oromila almost on every house. Oloko, almost every house. Shango, some houses. Ogun, almost every backyard in the villages. But if you go to Yoruba villages, the owners of Ogun, you will not see Ogun in the backyard. You will not see Oromila in homes. We carry them, we collect them from them, we put them for our head. We abandon what our ancestors used to worship. The living and the true God. Today, today you, you see, today at Akwakpava, the, at the Holy Arosa, that is the spot where our ancestors have been worshipping God. Holy Arosa. They still worship the Most High God there. That is the only God that Edo people know. All these imported gods, they, were, they, they are not our, they, our ancestors didn't worship them. That's not true. Oloku is not Oloku is not Bini. Oloku is not Bini. Oloku Oloku came later. I think uh, there are some part of history that said Ikala Deran started the worship of Oloku because when he saw the Okun, Okun actually in Edo means river. I mean not river. It means sea or ocean. That is Okun. It means sea. Or ocean. That is why we hear Edo say, "Onwe noriokun ke no kokunde." You know, so the, 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 it means sea. Then Olo, Oloku means the goddess of the sea, but it is a derivation of a uh, Yoruba. Even the Ogun, if Ogun, oh, Yoruba have the Ogun Ogun story. Of how Ogun came and all that, all this story Yoruba, but Benin we don't have it. The origin of all this juju is from the Yoruba land. Okay, forget uh, uh, even Ifa, even Ifa. This Oromila is a Yoruba word. If you if you have been around where they do Ifa, where they do divination with Yoruba or whatever, most of the divination, the language is Yoruba. The divination, the language. Yeah, do you hear them say Silekun? You hear them? They speak Yoruba in during the divination of uh, of uh, uh, Yoruba of uh, Ifa. So these are all Yoruba uh, juju. Well, you, are, you say Oloku is part from is part from Saint Lucia. No, these are recent. These are all recent. We are talking about the origin. We are not talking about Oloku and Sango. They have all spread. They have spread to part of Latin America. They spread to to part of Brazil, you know. 
the, the, the way they came to Bini, but but the the people that brought it, they they don't worship it the way we are worshiping it today. Most of them were conquered by Islam. They are almost most, most of them are Muslim today, in Ekiti, in Oshun, but we and in the Ikwara area, but we carry and put for head. Do, where the ori any ogun, whether it's ogun bao, whether it's ogun any cow, any ogun, the origin is not a do. The origin is not a do. Go and check your history. Now, well, okay, you, if you if you want to argue this now, let what about let come to the present. Uh, what about fraternity and confraternity? Are they not mostly all from your, of Yoruba and foreign origin? You know what Ogboni is? Ogboni is a, is a, is a fraternity. Eh? Ogboni is not an Edo fraternity. Okay? The only fraternity I know that Bini had at then was called Owegbe. Owegbe was a fraternity that Edo has. And it, I think it eventually they converted it into a political party. If they converted into a political party back back in the days, but but Ogboni is a, is Yoruba. It's not Edo. Or Sokbika. It's not Edo. Asigidi. It's not Edo. Ayelala. It's not Edo. Name them. They are, none of them is Edo. So why are we? And we go now. We carry out for a head pass. Why do we love things that are not that are alien to us? That is the problem. So, no fraternity and no even confraternity. None of them came from it. Is he is he a year that is from Edo? Or the Ayes? None of them is from Edo. Black arts is it not black arts they call it? None of them is from Edo. None. But now being a do, now we the use and kill ourselves past the count scores. Two over two, three over three, four over four. Why do we love things that are not ours? It's is it, it, it's it's not no even today. Let's forget religion and the Juju and the fraternity, fraternity and confraternity. Look at these days. People even prefer to, uh, to patronize artisans and laborers from outside the kingdom. Laborers and artisans from outside the kingdom, people patronize them more than they patronize our our. Our, you know, our people, we say, uh, we call it the tribalization, no? I may tribalize a domain. I'm not tribalistic. Yeah. Look, Oga, madam, if you're not tribalistic, now you lose. Now you lose. If you see what is happening in Nigeria today, you, with your child, will sit for a, a government exam and score 250. Somebody in the north will sit for the same exam and score 27. And they will take the one that scored 27 and kick your son out because they say quota. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there are too many people that score 250 in Edo State. And uh, we need only 50 people from Edo State. And about 100 people score more than 250. So they will now kick your son out because in the in Katsina State they need uh, uh, about they have draw, uh, they draw maybe they give them a quota of another fifty and the highest person that scored their score thirty they will begin to pick from thirty twenty twenty nine twenty eight they, until they get their fifty even the last person that scored the number fifty even if he score only seven percent. They will take him. Your son that scored 250, they will kick him out. And the ones that are lucky, they will pick him. Some of will score 7%. And the person that scored 250%, they will be in the same class. 
you will say you are not, you are not tribalistic. Not tribalistic. They go tribalize you out of that country. That is what is happening to us. Nothing comes to us. Nothing. So until you begin to love your thing, publicize your thing, boast with your thing, show it in their face, they will not respect you. They will not respect you. Until you respect yourself, nobody will respect you. Until you brag with yourself, nobody will brag with you. Until you value your own, nobody will value your own. So that is the prop. That is exactly the same thing. So don't say I am. I am not tribalistic. That is why Edo people are very good people. They are not tribalistic. Hey, express they live good people when it comes to tribalism. Yeah, it's good to be detribalized, but when it comes to valuing your own, that is not tribalism. That is, that is valuing your own. That is knowing yourself what. Because nobody is going to lift you up. Nobody. If you don't lift yourself up, nobody will lift you up. That is life for you. Look they are, like their transmission, transmission, uh, 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 Inspector General of Police. What is happening? This is somebody... In 2015, he was the commissioner of, of uh, police in Kano State. Commissioner. After the election, because of all the magomago that took place in Kano State, they, re they retired more than 12 AIGs and promoted him to AIG and put him as, as uh, Inspector General of Police. Upon all the transmission errors, they don't care. They don't care. They, if you like, shoot gun for air. They don't care. So value yourself, value your own, value your culture, value your food. If Naima, if na Panerian, I may go see Naibi your food, they eat her. Don't go to the restaurant and say, hey, hey, we do. Hey, madam, give me a we do and. Uh, uh, give me the I don't do that. I know I know I know they do that. If I enter a restaurant, Panerian, Agusi, Panerian, uh Obolo. <laughs> Let me add the eat. Me I go why why I go? Which guy we do? Which guy we do? Me I don't do that. Seriously, even in Lagos. Even in Lagos. In Lagos, normally I don't like dirty restaurants. So many dirty restaurants in Lagos. So so when I'm in Lagos I don't eat, I I I go to I go to Igbo restaurant because I can get Panerian from there. Or I go to uh, because you can't find a do restaurant, it's very hard, very scarce. I but I, I there's I, sometimes I go to, there are some data restaurants. Uh -huh, I can get Panerian from there. That's what I do. Or I, I eat rice and you know, snacks. So, that is my people. I patronize your own. No? I know that uh, not all Edo Benin traditional things are appealing to everybody. You know? There are some some things culturally that is not appealing. Yeah, I don't say you must do it if it is not appealing. I don't say me you follow your people, go do uh, juju if you don't like her, or go do uh, ikaba, or go do mad things for body if you don't like her, no. But there are so many parts of our culture that are good, that need to be encouraged, and we should also learn to participate in all these things. So even even the foreign culture, what would they what would they imitate? Not be all foreign cultures good. Not be all foreign culture good. Hmm? Today now, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, things. Others uh, 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 are we 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 don't we don't we don't. In short, I don't know what's happening. There's so much money to be made from igwe. Festival, everywhere festival. We we we, we don't 
the, in short, the, the palace should hear this. The palace should hear this. Igwe Festival can bring a lot of tourists and money to the state because it has come to the point where it has been publicized. Everybody knows it. But the reason a lot of Edo sons and daughters are shying away from Igwe Festival is because of the blood sacrifice. It's because of the blood sacrifice. If they can separate the blood sacrifice and let the festival be festival. Because festival is supposed to be festival. If they can separate the blood from it and make it go just purely a festival thing. And those sons and daughters, whether Christians or not, we embrace it. They will embrace it. Where where thing that is fading out, we come back. Igwe people will come. A lot of money can be made. No, blood sacrifice, idolatry should be removed from all these our uh, cultural events to make them appealing to modern people, tourists, visitor. They will come. If you go, if, if you if it's a festival, it's a festival. People can bring dance, can bring cultural dances. All those dances we're talking about since Agada, Ekbo, Alibogi, Ekasa, Ekaba, all those things can come into the festival. It can be a week long thing. A day can be that there will be, a, 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 before you know, every quarter will be doing their own. Ubekun will host their own. Uh, 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 Oka will host their own. Uh, Ivyoto, every area. Ugbawa, Uselu, no everybody. You, the whole, I tell you, when they make it, this thing appealing a week long, and it falls within the Christmas, the whole in short, every European diaspora we plan to be at the event. Nobody will want to miss that. But when you begin to make blood sacrifice, kill cow, they can rub head. Nobody want to identify with that. So if okay, most of the things we call uh, Christmas today and Easter that are now the world most celebrated events, they were once pagan festivals. They were once dates they used to worship uh, all this. Uh, uh, the sun Sunday was a day dedicated to the sun. Monday was a day dedicated to the moon. Easter was a day dedicated to idol worshiping. Uh, Christmas for the day, Christmas that December 25th was a day dedicated to idol worshipping. But how did they succeed to make it very appealing? They remove all the sacrifice, remove all the idols, and converted it to something more appealing. Now the whole world is celebrating it. So who says Edo people will not celebrate Igwe? Igwe is supposed to be like the Christmas of a Benima. Which a normal Benima will value more than even the normal Christmas if they remove the blood sacrifice, if they remove, if they discourage all those things. Who wants to do it? Let them give it another name. The, the, uh, let them give it another name. Let us, let people do the festival, let it be enjoyable. Then people will participate. It will bring a lot of money. Everybody encourage people even during the festival. Let people wear traditional dress, make it compulsory that everybody will wear the normal Edo traditional dress. All our Edo women will dress like princesses, all our Edo men will dress like princes that we are. We all come out en masse. The whole city will be bubbling, everywhere will be full. It, everywhere there will be so much enjoyment, so much money around. People will come from far and near. Oh, in Bogo Kong, the condo, it will be like Uge. May they give me commissioner of culture. May they, may they see some, make I design things for them. Culture and currency. May they try give me for four years. May, make, make them see what the person go feed do for them. But Nigeria, they not agree. They not go agree. <laughs> Who get cap, not get head. Who get head, not get cap. My people, I think we should draw the curtain here tonight. We have spoken at length. <laughs> uh, we, you go vote. Then they vote commissioner now. Now, now, now by appointment. Even now by voting. <laughs> I forgo. Uh, so, 
it is it is nice that uh, we love our own we, we encourage our own we encourage people to encourage our own so that is just the way it is uh next week my people um I'm going to, there is this issue about uh, the Oba and the Ogiamie, and they have been calling, that I made mention of last week during the teaching. I've been receiving so much calls, and so many calls, and so many messages uh, from some people purported to be from the Ogiamie, and some people from the palace as well. So, next coming week, we are going to, I think, um, we are going to discuss more on this matter. Let us know what's really going on. So, uh, today is Friday. I'm going to see you guys on Monday. We'll see you on Monday. Uh, discuss probably the continuation of the Oba Dynasty or uh, something similar or this Ogiamie issue I don't know I'm, I'm, they are sending me the Ogiamie people are sending me so much videos so much videos so much write up so much trying to they try to educate me okay me I'm reading it I'm reading them I'm watching them so when I'm done I will talk on the, on the matter all right. Thank you, my people. God bless you. Esso Saigareva. Thank you, Destiny Clark. Ohiuwe Oteme Joe Samsi. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Monty, my son. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night, my people. God bless you. One love. One love. One love. Bye bye. Esso Andrews. Good night. Bye bye.